Hey, buddy, you allow pets in here? Sure, why not? Okay, all right. Come on, Chris. <laughs> there you go. It's a good thing you got that broom. Forgot his diaper at home. Oh my God, are these DVDs? What is it, 2005? Yes. Okay, yeah. Christopher Nolan? Is that Jason Schwarzman's dick? Wait, who does he fuck? Who, who's Sonic gonna fuck? Holy shit! Oh, yeah, the production value is not that good on that, but they did it all themselves. This is my show. This is a porn parody of my show. Oh, you're not gonna like what they do to your face. And also, live from St. Vitus in Brooklyn, New York, it's, it's two, two minutes to late night! night! It's two minutes to late night, starring Steve Brodsky, Ben Kohler, Nick Caggio. Kevin the sound guy Cannibal Corey Chris the Bat HR Ginger The guy who wore our shirt to the table A bored girlfriend Did somebody lose a shoe? The guy who sells our merch for free An upper decker A scary thought I had when I was stoned Musical guest Gina Gleason Featuring of Mice and Men And now, here's your host, Arsenio Hall Enough, enough, enough. All right, yeah, two minutes to late night. Hey, rat asses, the, these guys, the uh, fucking guests or whatever. I found a porn parody of our show. And we're gonna watch it. Wait, 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 what about the SNL thing? I was gonna do my whole monologue as Matt Foley in a van down by the river. No, 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 fuck that. Everyone skips the monologue. We're watching porn. Yeah. Really? Yes, Kevin, get up here. We're gonna watch Two minutes to sex. <laughs> this is more cum? Live from St. Vitamin in Brooklyn, New York, it's two minutes to sex. Hello, idiots. Welcome to Two Minutes to Sex. It's like two minutes to late night, but we all have sex. I'm your host, Borsenio Balls, and as always, we are here with their house band, You Taint Man. Rick Caggio, Steven Rodsky, Emily P, and Big Ben. Hey, happy to be here. happening so fast, it was like 20 seconds. Where is the nuance? <laughs> also, hold on, pause it. Ben, is that you? What are you doing in our porn? <sighs> Give me a break, man. I gotta take a minimum number of rolls per year to keep my SAG eligibility. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the mutoid oath? I would never break the oath. Not till marriage! <laughs> I'm saving my flower for someone who owns it. Like the Lord. All right, Kirk Cameron, calm down. Let's go back to the porn. I want to see who they got as a guest. Our guest tonight played in the influential whiny rock band Nirvana. Let's welcome to the stage, David Grohl. Wow, how did they get David Grohl? Probably 300 bucks. Uh, yeah, I'm David Grohl. 
friend. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Oh wow, David Grohl! Oh wow, David Grohl! <laughs> ben, that Dave Grohl has huge boobs. Yeah, and he plays guitar. <laughs> <coughs> wow. <laughs> Thanks for having sex with me, David Grohl. I love your documentary. Okay, folks, up next we have a huge orgy. Everybody is welcome. It doesn't matter your creed, race, sexual orientation. Just be true to yourself. Respect others, and yes, you, you too can live a life that is very sexy. <laughs> oh, Kevin the dick guy. I do the dick. Kevin, get the fuck out of here and get the fuck in me. Hmm, powerful stuff. We should hire the writers. In the meantime, let's cut you a word from our sponsors. I took a shower washing every body part except for my butt. I drew a monster on my belly button, which I've never done before, but I sort of enjoyed. I washed my hair with my brother's prescription dandruff shampoo and peed before getting out of the tub. I can't seem to find my toothbrush, but I'll pick one up in a year or two. Other than that, I'm in good shape. Folks, our guest tonight has played guitar for Baroness, Carlos Santana, and Cirque du Soleil, which I'm assuming is some sort of French ice cream. <laughs> everybody, everybody, please pee pee inside of your diapies for Gina Gleason! <laughs> Thank you for being here, even though it's a hot one. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Get it? Because they played the song with the thing in it! All right. Okay, so you've played guitar with Carlos Santana, Frank Zappa, Brendan Small, a bunch of other bands that my uncle loves. Yeah. Did Santana actually let you play smooth? We didn't play smooth, no. What did we play? Oh. Boo! Oh. Man. No, this is a petition right now. Carlos Santana, you bring her back, she plays smooth. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I was robbed. Not Rob Thomas, but robbed. The opportunity robbed to play. Thomas. Yeah. How would you rob Rob Thomas? I think I would just sneak up on him. Yeah. Ah. yeah. How would you rob Rob Thomas? I wouldn't. I like Rob Thomas. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. So you did play in Cirque du Soleil. Um, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Cirque du Soleil is a French Canadian circus company. When I got the job initially, I was telling my brother, I was like, dude, I got this job at Cirque du Soleil, I have to move. And he's like, oh, dude, you have to move? Like, are you gonna move to Mexico? And I was like, I don't know. I was like, Mexico, I don't... France. Yeah, I was like, I don't think so. And he's like, well, Circus Olay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> shows all over the world, some of them tour, some of them are stationed in Las Vegas, which is the one that I worked at. Like, yeah. as a marionette of a guitar? Like, what, what, did, you, what I, did you do? I played guitar in the show, but I played a character that wore a, like, solid gold outfit and shot fire out of. <laughs> awesome! <Yeah>. Holy shit! <laughs> yes! So it's like Mad Max Fury Road burlesque? Yes. Yeah. But w when I got the I job, mean. I had to move to Montreal, and they were like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. You're doing this job. And I was like, cool, like, where's the band? And they're like, yeah, there's no band. There's you. This is what you're going to wear. And you're going to do 10 shows a week. Oh, my God. And that, that's, that's what it is. Awesome. So Are they hiring? <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> the show that I was in was like, <laughs> It's like Michael Jackson themed. <laughs> oh my God, what? What is France? <laughs> <laughs> did you have like a favorite number that they did during the show? There is a number during um, the song Dirty Diana, this aerialist pole dancing extravaganza was going on and I had to just like play guitar around 
this like insanely strong woman like who was pole dance not pole dancing but like doing aerial gymnastics on like a pole I'm just picturing like the scene in Batman Forever when Robin's <laughs> parents die, I guess. <laughs> Was there like a Macaulay Culkin on a giraffe? There wasn't a Macaulay Culkin on a giraffe. There was a scene at the end of the show where I would come out of the stage on like an, like an elevator. Sweet, kind like of, a lift, like, like a, a hydraulic lift. lift. Yeah, the hydraulic With lift. smoke and stuff? Yes. Awesome. Dude. So it would like blow like fart at me, like fog and like. <laughs> kind of like, like Michael Jackson would. If yeah. <laughs> It was that literally a dead body fart joke. <laughs> but Macaulay Culkin was in the background on like a giant football field size. I heard he would like do a line of blow down the giraffe's neck. I <laughs> 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 got to the bottom! <laughs> Do you want to talk a little bit about Miss Metallica? Sure, yeah. It's literally the only Metallica cover band to have no dads in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get a fuck dad! Get the fuck up! Yeah, we were uh, all female Metallica tribute band called yeah. Miss Metallica. Yeah. 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 And you were the Kirk. And the James at the same time? I, I was, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> so who kept you and Lars from fighting? It, it was inevitable. Nobody could stop it, but. I guess that's why it's no more. Is Foiled. it no more? I just made that up. It is no more, that, that I know of. Unless there's another all-female Metallica tribute band, but. There fucking better not be. <laughs> that shit is gimmick infringement. Where? The show is growing, so we have to learn a lot about copyright law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is also not your first cover band, is it? No, that was not the first, yeah. The first one was Queen Diamond, which was a... Yeah! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> that was also a blast to play in. Were you also the lead singer of that one? No, no, no way. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Before I forget to do this, we're going to go down the line, and everyone on this stage is going to do their best King Diamond impression. <laughs> Starting with Steve. Yeah. 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 Grandma? for this Eric. All right, wrap it up. <laughs> Gina, do you want to stick around and uh, play the song we made you hers? No. Okay, great. <laughs> Folks, I think we're all a little hot and bothered from all that porno and Santana talk. So let's cool off with some good old fashioned book learning. Oh, hey, what's up, Poop Noodle? Sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just busy doing some math. We're here in Gramercy Theater, very close to the bathroom, to learn more about books. You know, sandwiches, but with paper in them. And we're here with the only band named after a book that isn't in prison of Mice and Men. 
Good morning, band. I'm your substitute teacher, Mr. Senio Hall, but you can call me Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Dad. 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 Yeah. Since, since we're in the Big Apple, I got you something. Aw, oh, it's very sweet, but apples taste like bullshit. Let's get down to brass ass. Y'all ready for pop quiz? Never ready for pop quizzes. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give y'all five minutes to summarize the plot of your favorite John Steinbeck novel, The Grapes of Wrath. Just kidding! Of mice and men, right? Oh. <laughs> Please be sure to use a number two pencil because that's the number duty is. All right, Aaron. Hi, Daddy. Thank you so much. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what you stabbed here? Yeah, it's my um, it's my magnum opus. I just tried to take of mice and men and just kind of. Mm, mm, and that's. Semen, did you semen on this? Alan, right? Yes. Okay, yes. you wanna tell me a little bit about what you wrote here? That is correct. There are actually several theories that Of Mice and Men was written even before the Iliad and the Odyssey. Details. No one thinks that. Nope. Dead. We weren't drawing uh, turkey hands today. No, no, it's not a turkey hand, it's a... Uh... Oh, this is a dick. Yeah, yeah. It's a dick, okay. Very closely. Well done. Tina, thanks yes. for sitting down with me. Of course, How finally. How did you get your hair to do that? You know, contrary to popular belief, a lot of people think that uh, egg white is actually what you use, but it's actually the yolk, and you need to use a lot of it. How the fuck do you really do your hair, though? What do you mean? I just told you. Egg yolk, it's simple math. Come on. No. <laughs> this is simple math. I wrote boob. So you just drew, I think, pubes right here? There's a character named Curly in the book. Is this just your interpretation of the word curly? I write in wingdings. It's a little hard to oh, understand. Okay. Not today, Satan, John Steinbeck exclaimed. His brow dripped sweat and his heart was racing. He knew it was time. Time to usher in the lasting peace treaty between New York City subway riders and the mice who called the subway home. A mouse travels overseas with his family and arrives in New York and then gets separated and ends up finally gaining citizenship so his tail is now American. There's lots of cats that try and eat him, but then he goes west and then finally becomes a real boy who will one day become a man. Uh, yeah, I loved uh, when they made that uh, the, the movie version. I liked Curly's wife a lot better when she was uh, like a metaphor for the plight of women as opposed to just a big old spider with a mustache. You wanna, you wanna tell me a little bit about what you uh, drew here? My two favorite characters in the book. Okay. Lenny and George. It shows how the American dream is no longer obtainable. You're just... That's brilliant. That's brilliant. That's the closest anyone in the class came to capturing the spirit of the book. So, I got you a present. It's a box full of mice. Oh, look, they got out! Run to the bathroom when we're safe! <laughs> Folks, this is our dream song. This is the song we've wanted to cover since Mutoid Man hatched from their eggs. We burst out of a chest! It's a 40-year-old movie, calm down. <laughs> anyway, here to perform the best song written about a 35-year-old going back to school, Mutoid Man and Gina Gleason. But first, <laughs> but first, yeah. I have some papers to grade. So keep it down.
That's not even sort of right. Oh, God. Gina Gleason of Mice and Men and Guarsenio Balls. Stay tuned for That's My Bush. Somebody give Chris the bat a ride home. He's fucking drunk. And that shit crazy. 